if you've been struggling to solve a problem, the team can't get it all kind of working individually on their own. This democratic style can help foster creativity and innovative solutions for a problem that might be particularly sticky. Jason LaDuke, back with you here, helping you become the kind of boss you always wish you had when you were first starting out. And today we are continuing our discussion of different leadership styles and how to use them in the right situations and context where they make the most sense to develop our team and help our team meet their objectives. We never want to just pick one leadership style and go with that for the rest of our career. So today we're gonna to talk about democratic leadership. And this is the style you wanna use when you wanna focus on group decision-making, when it's not enough for one person to just make a decision, when we really need input from people all across a whole group, especially if it's a group of experts. As an added bonus, as we get people participating and we get their different perspectives, it helps foster camaraderie between us and our team and among our team members and helps them really build trust with each other so they can go off and do great things again in the future. Now, some of the pros that go along with the democratic leadership style, it's empowering. People feel like they're part of the decision-making process. It also helps increase their satisfaction, make them feel like they're doing something really important at work at the end of every day, and really helps them find meaning in what our team is doing. There are cons though. So the cons are that this can lead to a very slow decision-making process. You don't want to use this if you have to make a quick decision, unless your team is really used to making quick decisions and getting information out and perspectives out where they can help make a quick decision. It can also really go off the rails at times as people disagree on what the best path forward is or what the best way to look at the problem is. So you need to be ready if you're gonna adopt this democratic leadership style to solve a problem, pull your whole team in and encourage participation. You need to be ready to pull it back in if it does go off the rails. So as I said, not for time critical decisions, but you do use it when you're looking for creativity and innovation. If you've been struggling to solve a problem, the team can't get it all kind of working individually on their own. This democratic style can help foster creativity and innovative solutions for a problem that might be particularly sticky. It's also great if you've got a bunch of experts and you need to get all of their information, all of their knowledge together to help solve that problem, this is a great way to do that. Again, we have to be strong about this as leaders and make sure everything's staying on the rails, but it's a great way to bring in expert opinions, perspectives, and knowledge to get something done. I remember we used this, uh, I was asked with another major back when we were serving at the Air Operations Center in Southwest Asia, God, 10, 15 years ago. And we were asked by the three-star general who was running the Air Operations Center to update one of the plans that they had that had been a couple of years old and he wanted to get some new perspective and some new ideas on how this plan should be updated if we ever had to use it. And so we had to bring in all of the experts, all of the intelligence folks, all of the experts about all the different aircraft and capabilities. We had to bring those in because there was no way that we could figure all those things out on our own and learn all those things on, on our own. So we had to bring in all these experts to help not even talk about the capabilities that we used, to update this plan, but what should those objectives of the plan even be? And we used this democratic style and yes, it was slow, but we got it done, updated the plan and it worked really great. Well, I hope this was helpful to choosing a leadership style when you need to choose a leadership style, especially if you need to solve a problem with creativity and innovation. If it was, please like, comment, and share with someone who can use this. If you have any questions, please slide in my DMs, I don't mind. Put in the comments what your experiences are with the democratic leadership style. We'd love to hear your experiences for good or for bad. And as always, keep watching and developing your leader's mindset. Onward and upward.